ISIS sex slave survivors book event canceled due to Islamophobia in Toronto. The Toronto District School Board, or TDSB, has recently canceled a book event featuring Nadia Murad, author of The Last Girl, My Story of Captivity and My Fight Against the Islamic State. 28-year-old Murad is a survivor of the Yazidi genocide, a Nobel Peace Prize laureate, and a human rights activist. She was captured by ISIS at the age of 19 and was taken into slavery for three months before she escaped. According to TDSB, Murad's book could offend some Muslim students and pro promote, quote, Islamophobia. This event was supposed to be held by a room of our own, a room of your own book club, which holds author discussion events with girls between the ages of 13 to 18 years old. Rex Murphy, a commentator for the National Post, slammed the equity department of the TDSB, saying the case of Nadia Murad combines determined ignorance with profound insult. Wait, what? What are they calling Islamophobia exactly? Her book. Where she talks <laughs> about how her most of her family and a hu huge portion of her ethnic group was straight up genocided by ISIS. I don't understand. Are we like, OK, this doesn't make no sense. OK, are, are they saying being anti ISIS is now Islamophobia? Is that what they're saying? <laughs> it's not like i mean that's one way that it could be interpreted like um, they seem to have no ability to make the distinction between isis and islam and muslims well i mean isis is as, okay no so isis ideology is islam right but yeah the, yes yeah but but i okay yeah but between islam and muslims i agree with that but okay what they don't seem to understand is that i think muslims he, i think a lot of muslims would be offended by this okay even a lot of muslims who would go around yeah. and say that oh this is islamophobia or that is islamophobia i think if you're a muslim and you hear that these non-muslims are saying you speaking out against isis is islamophobia that would be them saying that isis is islam and i think a lot of muslims who would have an issue with calling isis islam have a problem with calling any anti-isis narrative islamophobia like there's like do you know what i mean like wouldn't they be like this is not a like i think muslims should lead the way be like this is like not islam what are you saying <laughs> i mean you know what maybe we should say maybe hey here's the thought maybe we should support this maybe we should be like oh yeah it's true being anti-isis is islamophobia because isis is the true face of islam right like anti you know if islamophobia it means being against isis then i guess consider us islamophobes i don't know like okay i don't know i don't know what <laughs> i see what you did there <laughs> Like they're they're are are they somewhat legitimizing Islamophobia? Like aren't they like giving some legitimacy? If if, if even as and being anti ISIS is Islamophobia, then I don't think anybody could be, say that it's wrong to be Islamophobic. I don't know. It's just getting so many it's, different. It's really absurd. Like so, the founder of this book club for girls even contacted the school board and tried to talk about how there is a distinction distinction between like just talking about what happened to the Yazidi people and Muslims. And they just had no ability to like draw the distinction, which is shocking. Apparently the school board has been on a lot of other um, crazy stuff as well for example so it wasn't just nadia's book event that was canceled it was also um a book event with uh the egyptian canadian lawyer uh marine uh hen hen yan I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name but um she's a, a top canadian lawyer and her event was canceled simply because she was the defense for um a tv host that was accused of sexual assault so now serving as a defense lawyer is like a reason to be canceled. 
that's but I, for the main part of the news that I want to focus on is Nadia's story. Um, and it's just absolutely crazy. This was met with such a large amount of outrage. There are so many people just talking about how much of an insult this is to not only like specifically Iraqi religious minorities, but many Iraqis themselves who, you know, had to survive this horrific insurgents of terrorism in their country and to act as if talking about your experiences is now promoting bigotry against an entire group of religious people it's insane it's patently insane i had so many people um messaging me the story they wanted us it, us to cover it this week and they're asking for my opinion. I was like, this is just, they've just lost their mind. Like who thought that this made any sense? It's crazy. Um, apparently you know, this I, has to. I, I always think like, um, I mean, I mean, this might be a, this might be wrong, but this, this story must be an outlier because accusations of Islamophobia have been re Oh no, actually this was in, this was before the acquisition of Islamophobia have been going down in the past couple of years you know what i mean like people have moved on to other things to be offended by but these people i, I guess like um are still stuck in the past i don't know like am i wrong about this like i think like this is a outlier case um i have another yeah go on i i don't know so i think um uh i'm not very familiar with toronto local politics or what's going on with the school board but this school board seems to have a serious like overcorrecting mm. woke problem like they recently there was a huge controversy because they burned literally burned thousands of books that offended indigenous people in like a Wait, fire literally, purification li literally burned them amazing yes and used the ashes yeah. in like a purification ritual which is like this gets into levels of like new age plus mm. woke woo that I just like can't even. But I'm less familiar right. with the details of that. But people are just okay. like really pointing their fingers right, right, right. at um, overzealous just... equity focus. Somebody in the live chat saying canceling this because it might offend some Muslims is ridiculous. What happened to if you don't like something? Then... I don't really think this is about Muslims. Even I think this is about themselves. You know what I mean? I don't like. I mean, we have a lot of issues with like um sensitivity in the muslim community i don't think this would be one of those i don't think like a lot of muslims will come and say how dare you condemn isis you know what i mean i think yeah. this is just like a i think this is more of a leftist thing than a muslim <laughs> than a muslim <laughs> i do want to like, clarify <laughs> something really quickly so the relationship between the school board and the book event is that um the school board when things were in person they would uh, like they kind of have endorsed this book club so students would be able to get a day off from it and then in preparation for the book club they would like distribute these books to students for free or like they'd be involved in that but when these two books for these two authors came up that's when they had to cancel and nix everything um uh, one, one other thing skeptic I is saying i genuinely can't fathom the angle on this they'd rather emphasize no yeah, emphasize with em, empathize. Em, sorry, em, empathize, empathize with genuine ISIS sympathizers than a victim of ISIS who Muslims they themselves would sympathize with. Yeah, I don't think they're well thinking put. about empathizing with anybody. I think that they just have like these uh, few, you know, metrics of what something becomes. You know, you know, it's not like really. It's not about like making sense. It's about these. These are the narratives that sounds Islamophobic or I don't know transphobic or homophobic or whatever. It doesn't have to actually be those these things. As long as it has certain attributes that is similar to the narratives that comes from people who are what they call Islamophobic or like like you could be even pro, for example, trans or pro Muslim. But as long as you have certain key terms or certain talking points that it just makes you seem like you're in another camp that's enough to be like okay you're off you know what i mean they 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 act like they're like robots rather than actually thinking agent which is actually weird uh because they're treating muslim like they're not thinking agent because what is this like is there are they are are they suggesting that muslims like can't do bad like are they not gonna if you get harmed by somebody that happens to be like a Muslim, 
can you not talk about it because they're Muslim? like are we trying to hide the fact that Muslims also do like c c are capable of doing bad things do you know what I mean like it's kind of like challenging the agency of Muslims as a whole do you know what I mean? like like you know what I mean like, do you, I mean even here's the thing even if Islam was not a violent religion which it is at, at some point Muslims would be doing like there are people and they would be doing bad stuff. Are we not gonna like cover that? Like I don't understand. Uh, just because they they like they could do the most evil stuff, and you're not gonna your your people can't talk about it because of the religion of the people who committed it. It's I don't that actually reminds me. Can you bring up that tweet from Mohammed Syed that I um, sent you? Let me check. Because he makes an excellent point regarding exactly oh. what you're saying. There we so, go. Um, Mohammed Syed, who is uh, the ED of ex-Muslims of North America, tweeted this article and said, racism, the idea that only white people have agency, only white mm. people have histories or ideologies with unsavoring, horrifying elements that growth by and that growth by confronting complexity is only possible to them. And then Amazing. he put a little asterisk note. Muhammad, meaning the Prophet Muhammad, was a sex slaver who ISIS emulated. Okay, so Muhammad speaks. Muhammad ahead. Sayyid speaks very well. You know, what I mean, he can. Yes. You know, Muhammad, both Muhammad Sayyid and Sarah Haider, they just fr phrase things in the most perfect way. But go on. Yeah. Oh no! I mean, he's he's um, making an excellent point. In a way, it's kind of like the reverse of the bigotry of low expectations. It's like. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a infantilizing of a group. It's it's um, treating them as as like children or or because humans are incredibly complex creatures. So whenever you make an effort to deny a group their complexity and that inherently entails their their crimes and in inhuman abusive behavior, you are therefore denying their humanity. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You. Yeah. You are basically have purified them to the point that you're claiming that they can't do anything wrong. It's just like yeah. You're partly. It, it's beyond. It's beyond. Um, Islam has no. Um, is not responsible for terrorism. It's like. They're, you are incapable of doing evil stuff. Like your group of people, unlike everybody else, unlike every other ethnic group, your your mm -hmm. religious identity or whatever, your group of people just cannot like. It's, it doesn't even have free. There's no free will. I mean, technically there isn't, but you know what I mean. Anyways, <laughs> we're not going to get into that. <laughs> okay, don't get him started on determinism. Okay, we got to shut yeah, that down okay. right now. <laughs> shut it, shut it down. They're getting too philosophical. Um, all right. Um, should we clap? For, wait, somebody was asking if like uh, ISIS is like Islamic in the live chat. We have already mentioned many times. Um, ISIS ideology is the, the closest to following Islam word by word. Okay, it is. Um, it's not one hundred percent, but it's the closest we have. So that's what we always say here. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.